Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I'm gonna try not to waffle at the beginning because it cuts into the um, journey. Today we're doing Folkestone Test Drive Route 6. And this will take us into Cheriton. Then we will go down Hospital Hill, past the Army Barracks, into Seabrook, and then Sandgate, back into the town, down through the harbour, and then back to the test centre. So we shall follow all the instructions, aren't we? lovely sunny day for a drive. I do know that on this route there is one road that's a dead end so I'm just figuring it never says on the route. At the junction turn right. It never says on the route that you must do a u-turn or turn the vehicle around in the road on this street but because it's the route takes me down the dead end and then back out again I've got to turn the car around so we'll do that as and when we get there right. <laughs> At the junction, turn right. And because it's lovely and sunny, I'm anticipating lots of people out. Spring is here now, isn't it? Can't really see, so I'm going to have to edge out. There is a car coming that way. And it's a driving school. At the junction, turn right. So you have to follow the driving test examiner's instructions implicitly. So if he says take the third left, the fourth right, that kind of thing, you've got to be counting. So we've got lots of cars parked on both sides of the road. Potential for people opening doors as well as walking between the cars. At the junction, turn left. how long this one will take. It seems to be a bit longer than one of the others that I've done. Take the sixth left. So because we're in a built up area, it's a 30 mile an hour zone. Unless you see a sign otherwise. Are you counting the exits? So the sixth exit is actually at the traffic light, so I want to get into my lane. I don't want to ride on the cycle lane, but I will give an indicate. Lights are still green, which is cool. Take the fourth left. We've got zebra crossing ahead, there's nobody waiting. I see a car parked on the pavement, is it? So I'm going to have to pull out. Don't need to indicate though. So we've got the fourth left, eh? so frustrating and I wasn't counting the junctions was I so you'd have gone left down there sorry folks <laughs> and you would come out at the other side it's Shawncliffe Crescent there's the exit there it looks like this on the map I'm only doing 26 but the guys behind me is like Rrr. Did I fail the test because I didn't do the instructions? I'm not going to start again. At the junction, turn left. I've 
to my right. Take the second right. Okay, I will follow the instructions this time. So we've got a blind bend, so I've really got to slow down to make sure there's nothing coming. And there isn't. Into suburbia. It's driving in the middle here. I don't want to get too close to the parked cars. At the junction, turn left. Some will park right on the junction there. It's a little inconvenient. And it's blind as well. Once you commit, you've got to go for it. As long as it's empty when you start. Go across the crossroads. Yeah, you pull out because you can see that it's clear. And then once you've committed, it's not like you've done something wrong by driving off and there was suddenly a car there because you couldn't see the car, could you? Take the fourth left. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get the right one this time. see the dead end signs so we know it's a dead end so guess what that means turn the vehicle around now I'm as much in the dark as you are here so I don't know where you'd be expected to do a turnaround but I'm gonna do it right here or maybe you reverse down I think we'll do a reverse shall we I don't know if you're supposed to reverse around a junction but I'm gonna do it It's clear. I can't show you it on the camera, but as long as the car doesn't jolt because I've hit the junction, that's what I had to do on my test. Go far enough back that you clear the junction signs, like that. <laughs> At the junction, turn right. Wonderful. Might have been to turn the vehicle around in the road, but I, I went for the reverse around the junction. Do they still do that on driving tests? At the junction, turn left. I must speak to my driving instructor, son, and ask him. At the junction, turn right. I see a pedestrian walking across. Are there more than one? Is there more than one? Could have been a group of them, right? Nothing to my left, creeping out to the right because I couldn't see anything. So this should be quite a straightforward road, just all the way down till we get to Seabrook. Can't think that there'd be any hazards or uh, obstructions, but you never know. See the car's thinking about coming out of the junction, but it has waited for me. Yeah, the old military complex around here. which has been sold off and they're building houses <laughs> because we don't need to defend our island anymore. I've got someone running on both sides of the road. Blind bend. War of the Worlds tripod. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Fascinating structure. Pumpy road. Oh. I got 
chevrons. And the road drops down Hospital Hill. We can see the sea. Bend to the left, slow in the road. Currently doing 26. Wow, look at that coastline. Could be Dorset. 30 mile an hour zone. Turn left. And it's a stop junction. You know what that means, don't you? We don't just give way and pull out. We actually stop, even if there's nothing coming. We stop. Where's the van going? Because it's not indicating. It is now. Thank you. Bit of sensible driving. He's pulling out. I can see there's nothing coming, but I'm going to stop because you should stop too, otherwise you fail your test. So usual thing, look out for cars, doors opening, pedestrians in the road. I see a high-vis jacket. So there's obviously something going on here. kind of sea mist coming in. Check it out. Car obstructing, forcing me out. That was Seabrook. We're now into Sandgate. Oh, they're replenishing the shingle. Got the diggers out there. That's why all the, um, the smoke. It's not sea mist, it's the shingle, isn't it? Speed camera, 30 miles an hour. I'm doing 30. Can you see the shingle dust all coming up? Bus is pulled up. Everyone seems to be flowing, but there's an oncoming car. Bus is now pulling out. So I shall sit behind the bus. Gosh, don't hang your washing out when they're doing this. Maintaining the wall, the sea barrier with the shingle. Got zebra crossing ahead. Just look out for any pedestrians. And it's all clear. It could be the med, but it's not see on one side white buildings on the left. This would be a nice run to do on your driving test I think. Especially because this section starts getting congested so you've got to get your wits about you watching the traffic but also aware of all the hazards and the potentials. Pedestrians, cars, all of that stuff. Boss is indicating. So he's continuing past the parked cars. Just wondering if there's a bus stop up here and he'll pull up. He didn't stop at the bus stop. I am 
keeping a distance just in case he has to do an emergency stop. Lights are green at the Pelican Crossing. Sandgate Hill, I'm anticipating cars parked on the left, potential for giving way if there's anything humongous coming down the road. there's people at the bus stop so I anticipate him slowing down sliding into his bus stop which is good and into Folkestone mile an hour zone so don't get too excited about increasing your speed having come up the hill. There's quite a few um, junctions along this road where cars might be creeping out because they have no clear vision so anticipate that someone might be coming out just because it's your clear run you know you could quite equal E easily smash into someone who didn't see because their vision was obstructed. So we're thinking for everybody. fair most of these little test routes only take about half an hour. I suppose if you're still out after um, 40 minutes the examiner's still kind of questioning whether you've you've got it. I'm sure you have though. At the roundabout take the second exit. Second exit is straight across. So we'll get into the left lane and indicate off the roundabout. Nice to see a bit of indicating there from the two cars. Looking out for pedestrians all the time. Because some people just like to cross the road, don't they? Just right at them. As if it's like, I need to get from this side to that side. <laughs> Why did the pedestrian cross the road? to get on my nerves and they were good at it got a zebra crossing someone's crossing got to squeeze past the bus but only if there's anything coming I'm not going to stop on the zebra crossing now unless I can actually clear it so I'll be stranded on the zebra crossing it's a little like being stuck on one of those grids on a road it's a no no and bustle high street How about that at the traffic lights turn right will we make it before the lights change I'd like to think so This is not a roundabout, this is just a, a strange junction, so I'm not indicating off it. <laughs> what 
not designated, it's just kind of like the road goes around the monument. It's a funny one, that. However, don't take my word for it. If your driving instructor has told you to indicate, then you would do. Because you might fail the test if you don't indicate. Give way. I will continue if there's nothing coming. And there isn't. Chap getting in his car. Bear left. Take the next left. Chap stepping out into the road. We're going up Tontine Street. I think the the route is nearly finished. So again, it's two-way, we've got delivery driver there. It's two-way in as much as I won't anticipate cars, but I might see buses and taxis. One way for all other vehicles. Bear left. The road swings round, so I'm not indicating, I'm just following the road. And it's a one-way system, so I'm not going to indicate onto the one-way system, because I can only go this way anyway. Let's count something coming. I've gone in this lane because I don't want to go to the car park, and it says all other routes. crossing ahead. Always seem to be someone crossing at this, at this zebra crossing. At the roundabout, take the first exit. I thought they would be crossing, but they didn't. This is a roundabout, and I want to go left, so I'm coming off. Don't know what the etiquette is here for this two two lanes I always like to keep in the left hand lane but the left hand lane filters into this lane go figure I will now have to battle with these cars because they'll want to squeeze in so I should I shall let them there's no point having a race and forcing someone out but you can see on the road the arrow says filter into this road Tell we're almost going back, can't you? It just takes us on a slightly different route back. There left. Roundabout, take the third exit. Indicator's on because I'm taking the third exit. So I'm technically going beyond the straight ahead rule. Let's look in custom bike. Indicate off. One way. So the only hazard will be anyone coming out of a vehicle, walking across, coming out of the car park. Court approach, eh? Is that the courthouse? Gosh, these roads are awful. I'm doing a little bit of swervy swervy. At the roundabout, take the first exit. So we'll get into our lane, left-hand lane. That's the one. The cars to my right give way to them. Take the next left. And back 
where we started. Take the third left. Looking for reflections in the cars. Just can't see if it's clear. Take the next left. Take the next left. It never occurred to me how you would park your car because the test examiner would bring you back. Is that right? and ask you to park the car. Do you go nose in or do you reverse in? I wonder if she passed her test. I hope she did. Such a nerve wracking thing, isn't it? She's not crying. <laughs> Don't want to make assumptions that someone didn't pass their test. Oh, I hope they did. And I hope you do too when you take your test and you do this route. <laughs> that was actually quite enjoyable, probably because I've not done one of these driving test routes for so long because I've been doing all the other stuff and uploading all my previous videos with no commentary, which are a bit boring in my opinion. So, yeah, back into the swing of it. Thanks for watching and bearing with. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now and drive with care.